Hi guys, in this video we are going to study about basics of EndNote that is uh, making a new library in EndNote, importing references into EndNote from web and adding the references manually. For this lecture you must have EndNote installed on your system before you can get it online from EndNote website or you can purchase from any other website and install it to your system when you have EndNote installed you double click the icon of EndNote to open open it to make a new library you click on file new and we can save the new library to a folder we want and you can change the name of the library and click on save so now we have created this library named my library and it's open in EndNote here you can see uh, there are no references into this library yet so all references zero this is the area we will will see the references when we'll download them and on the right hand side you can you will see details of a reference and you can see the preview how it will look like into the word editing program so first we'll go for downloading a reference from web there are different journal websites and remember one thing whenever you download a reference from internet download it from the original website of the journal where it is published and if you can't find a, a reference on on its journal website or the journal is too old or there is some other issue you can try for Google Scholar you can also download references from web of science or different other sources and we'll go for a journal article first so We'll have an example of ACS publications. ACS have a pretty good website, so if you open an article on any ACS journal, you will see this download citation button on right hand side. So if you click on this, you will get different options. The first one is about format, so we'll select RIS as this is the format for EndNote. And there are a couple of more options. If you see this is citation for the content below it means that you are only going to download this citation for this research article if you select citation and references for the content below that will download this citation and all the references cited inside and if you select citation and abstract for the content below you will be downloading this citation and its abstract so we'll download citation for the content below click on download citation button and it is downloaded if you click open this citation is imported into the EndNote now you can see we have imported one reference and here are the details of the reference similarly we'll take another example if you have a different journal for example if you have an article on Taylor and Frank is online they have download citation button in a different position so if you scroll down you will find download citation here so if you click on download citation you will get same options like you select the RIS format for EndNote and you can select other options click download citations and here we go we have downloaded this citation into the EndNote similarly if you go to science direct that's pretty easy if you open any paper on science direct there is an export button at the top with download pdf button if you click this export button here you will find the options for downloading the citation you can select ris format for endnote and if you click export this reference will be exported to endnote so here we have downloaded this reference so if you click on all references you can see that we have downloaded these three references into endnote if you want to download a book reference the best thing is go to Google Books and find a book there and you can download that book reference from Google Books uh, uh, easily for example if we select search for a book named organic chemistry we'll go for this one 
and here is the book in Google Books. So to download its citation, you go on the left hand side, click about this book. And here you will find information about this book. If you scroll down, you'll find the bibliographic information at the end, which you can download in different formats. We'll click on EndNote and here we have imported a book reference into EndNote. You can see in reference type that it is a book reference. If you can't find a paper or research article on its journal website or journal is too old or there is some other issue, you can still download it from Google Scholar or any other research database. For example, if you find a paper on Google Scholar, here is the search results. So if you want to import this reference into EndNote, you click on Cite. And there are different formats. You click on EndNote and you will be importing this reference from Google Scholar to your EndNote library. Here you can see that we have imported this reference into our EndNote library from Google Scholar. Now you can see that we have downloaded five reference references. If you want to make a reference manually, which is normally not recommended because it has more chances of mistakes or errors, you can still make a reference manually. If you click on references and click on new reference, you will find this window where you can choose a reference type, for example, journal, book, online database, whatever. So you can add its author information here. You can add year. You can add a title. You can add journal name. You can add volume, pages. And you can save this reference by pressing Control S or clicking File and then Save. To close this reference, you need to click Close Reference or Control W. Now we have total six references and out of which one is manually made, one is book reference and other are journal references. Here you can also arrange references in different orders. So if you want to arrange all these references by author names, you can click on author and now you have arranged the references by author name. You can do it ascending or descending order. So if you click on author again, you can change the order of the arrangement. If you want to arrange references by year, you can click on year and you have now arranged all these references by in the ascending year, you can also do it in descending format. Just click on year again and you will be arranging all these references in descending order. If you want to arrange by title, journal, whatever, you can do it here. You can also see different tabs here. So there are author, year, title, journal. If you don't want to see title, just right click it and click on title title has gone and if you want to take it back just right click on this bar again click on title and here title is back you can also edit a reference directly from here so if you want to edit this reference you can just click on it and on the right hand side you can see all its information you can add or remove any information here and simply by pressing Control S, you can save this reference. You can also preview this reference, how it will look like into the word editing program. And you can see its PDF if you have attached its PDF as well. So this was all about basics of EndNote, making a new library, importing references. I hope you enjoyed this video. And to keep yourself updated, subscribe to this channel and if you have any questions, uh, ask those questions in the comments and you will get those the answers. Thanks for watching. Bye.